do something right quick. Shawan, Shawan. <laughs> oh, okay. Boy, these devils are hurt, man. All right. Let me adjust this a little bit. Let that down a little bit. Uh, about right there. There you go. Man, these devils, they are hurt, man. <laughs> Woo! Esau, eat them. Esau, eat them. Esau, eat them. You hurt, man. You devils are hurt, man. All right. Your time is up, all right? Your time is up, man. You devils are hurt, and you're losing badly, all right? Let me straighten out this a little bit more, all right? Whew. All right, man. Let's get started. Everything, well, it's good enough, man. Hey, it's good enough. It's all right, all right? So, with that, let's get started with this lesson. Shot one, shot one, shot one. All right? But before I get started with this lesson, I like to give all praises and honor and glory that's due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakadash, Double Line Studios, and the Apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me his truth and double side taste, tell you, the member, the, uh, the brothers that are prophesied and named throughout the four ones is earth, pushing his truth with all righteousness and sincerity. Shall I want you, brothers, and to the Aqua, the three sisters that are listening and learning to you, I say, Shall Wong, all right? We about this. Hold on a minute, man. Hold on one minute. Okay. Okay. It, it's good enough, man. All right. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. Low one to edify and feed the lambs of Yah Bashim Yah Shai. Low one, I pray it's nice to be edifying and straight to the point. All right. Let's see something. Hold on just a minute. We look kind of crooked a little bit, man. Hold on. All right. They do. Okay. Mm. Okay. We good. We good. All right. All right. We good. We good. We good. I want to make sure that ain't crooked. <laughs> Look kind of crooked a little bit. But all right. Coming back at you and nothing. Let's do the spirit of y'all. Bashin y'all. Praise to y'all. Bashin y'all. Shabbat 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 Lord willing to edify and feed the lambs of Yahweh Shin Yahweh Shai. I pray this lesson be edifying and straight to the point, man. Esau Edom is hurt, man. My main channel is down for a week. I done had two videos that I'm going to be operating on the channel, which is Andre Serving Yahweh Shai Channel 2. I had two videos taken down in recent days, man. Lessons that I did back a year ago. These devils are finished, man. They're finished. They're being disgraced. They're being exposed on all levels. They can't handle the truth anymore. So what they're doing, they got to take the truth down. <laughs> this truth <clears throat> is now considered hate speech, man, to these devils. The truth is considered hate speech to them. And before I, let's open up with a quick scripture, man. All right. Before I continue on any further, actually, I don't even have it in there. Got to put it in there. But let's go to it, though. All right. Galatians 4 and 16. Because these devils, they finished, man. <laughs> you know you defeated when you got to take down videos, man. And I tried to appeal the video. And now, nothing medical was said. No medical advice was given. Nothing medical was said. But the video I did last night on my main channel was taken down for so called medical misinformation. Now, I'm reading an article, and I'm reading exactly what the article is saying. But it's somehow medical misinformation. You devils are finished, man. And brothers done had lessons taken down for hate speech, medical misinformation, all kinds of things. All right? The elders and the apostles have been hit for so-called hate speech. You can't use the word, you know, Esau. You can't put that in your title. I think um, I watched the video from Elder Manat Zabak where he said, well, you know, the truth is not hate speech. The truth is now being called hate speech. I think that I took that down from words from what I've heard. I haven't checked yet. I'll go back and see. But I watched that video and hey, you can't, you know, 
You can't even put the word Esau Edom in the title anymore. See, these devils, they know that they're the damn Edomites, man. You know you the fucking damn devils, man. You know you the Edomites. You finished. That's why you taking down videos. Your ass is offended. You're offended by this word. See, the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has exposed you devils. And what you doing, you taking down videos. Now, that's, hey, because <laughs> you know the things we're saying is true. All right, let's read this. This is Galatians 4 and 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And the answer is yes. We're enemies to these damn devils, man. Okay? We're enemies because we're telling them the truth. The persecution is coming. All right? Whether you like it or whether you don't. All right? So I'm going to be operating from my uh second channel until, you know, they find an excuse to suspend that one. And that channel, that's been hit with strikes. And I haven't even operated on that channel in maybe about five months. Okay? You know, I use these other backup channels for, you know, just in case, you know, my main channels get suspended or down or something like that. And sometimes my backup channels, they get hit with strikes as well. So, these, <laughs> look, man, and, you know, and also they taking down lessons I done did a year ago. They talking to everybody. The brother, how you how the Maccabees? He done had 10 channels taken down. Brother, I'm going to want a bad. Then had he's been suspended twelve times from his channel, twelve times, and plus he had a, a channel taken down. A uh, faithful servant of Yahweh Shai, all right. I think it was faithful servant of Yahweh. One of them, if you can correct me, brother. But uh, look, hey, you dealt with a hurt man, all right. It's over for you. You've been exposed. You know we the whole world knows who you are. You look shameful spewing is on your glory, all right. Elder Malcolm. He just did a lesson, all right, that his rulership is coming to an end, absolutely. And there's a commercial, all right, where Am Moab, I'm trying to say Moab, so-called Chinese, they did a uh, commercial on talking about feeding America. And they had a little Edomite boy in there. Come on, man. <laughs> man, you, that was the finish. How about Shimia Shy, man? These are beautiful times we living in. You devils are finished. This place is through. It's over for y'all. It's a wrap. You know you through when you got to take down videos. You know you through. But that's okay, though. Hey, do what you got to do, man. We know you're going to do what you got to do. Just, just, just kill it already, man. Just kill the internet already, man. Just, just go on and do it. Because... Basically, you're fucking through. You've been exposed. You can't hide. The truth is out, man. And no matter how many videos you take down, it's not going to help your damn case at the end of the day. It's not. It's not going to help you. No matter how many videos. Let me get this first. Hold on before I read Jeremiah. Because you can't do nothing against this truth before the truth, man. All right? This is 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 8. For we can do nothing against the truth before the truth. You those can't do nothing against this truth. This truth is not of us. This is not of us, man. When we speak the words, these are the words of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And let's prove that, man. All right? You that was a finish, man. That was Hebrews, slot you. Hebrews 4 and 12. I don't know what I'm doing. Slop you. <laughs> I'm over here excited. All right. This is Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of Yahweh is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the divine asunder of, of souls and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Of the heart. Okay. This word is powerful. And you devils are losing sleep behind this word. I know you are. I know you're losing sleep. I know you are. <laughs> and but you devils are being exposed. And you can't take the heat, man. All right? Go to Jeremiah 49 and verse 7. All right? Jeremiah 49 and verse 7. Concerning Edom, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashin Yahshua host. Is wisdom no more in teeming? Is counsel perish from the prudent? 
is that wisdom vanished? Your wisdom, that meth hand wisdom you devils have, is vanishing. It's no more. You losing. All right? Let's really clear that. Let's get down to verse 10. But I have made Esau bare, and I have uncovered his secret places. He sh and he shall not be able to hide himself. You devils can't hide yourselves no more, man. The things you've done in the dark, the things you've done secretly, done in the dark, wickedness, is all being put out in the forefront for the whole world to see. And there's nothing you devils can do about it. Okay? You're going to do something about it. You're going to come down with great wrath, which is not far behind. You're going to have no choice but to go back to your sword. Because you know the truth is hurting you. Okay? Let's read this again. Jeremiah 49 verse 10. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places. And he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled and his brethren and his neighbors. And he is not. You devils are being exposed, man. And they say what's done in the dark shall eventually come to the light, man. And everything about what you've done is coming out for the whole world to see. This is Luke chapter 8 and verse 17. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. Nothing is hid from the glory of Hashem Shai, man. You devils thought that you can get away with the things you're doing, and you're still trying it. And you think racing videos, and you think taking down lessons and videos is going to stop the truth from coming out? Get the hell out of here, man. No. It ain't going to stop the truth from coming out. The truth is coming out regardless of how many videos you take now. It's still out. The truth is still out, buddy. So you devils might as well to just, <laughs> hey, do what you got to do, man. Because, hey, you devils, y'all through. All right? What else we going to get, man? Oh. Let me get this, Isaiah 29, verse 15. This scripture can't come out enough, all right? Isaiah 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek thee to hide their counsel from the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh, and their works are in the dark. And they say, who see thus and who know thus? You devils thought that nobody could see you, thought no one was paying attention to what you were doing. That's why the internet, that's why Jay Rockefeller said that he wished that this internet should have never been created. It's a threat to their national security. No, it's a threat to your new world order, man. That's what it's a threat to. It's a threat to your new world order. And eventually, you're just going to have to just kill the internet. That's what you're basically going to have to do. And you're going to do it. But it's going to be through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bash and Yahshai, which is going to bring forth the family of the word. The family of the word is drawing near. So we tell you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, get this truth while you can. Because they're going to eventually shut it down. All right? Your buddy killed Gates of Hell said it. He said governments should punish, should punish people who question the agenda. Now that's the lesson I put up, and they took that down and talking about his Medical misinformation. What what was medical said? There was nothing medical in that video was said. Nothing. All I did was just read an article and bring out scriptures and you devils got offended. You want to know why you got offended? Because you know what we're saying is true. That was a finish, man. Okay. Let's get this in, uh, I think it's Isaiah 62. Verse 6. Isaiah 62 and verse 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. We don't hold our peace day or night, man. We're not going to be silenced because you say so. The only way the glory is through the glory of Shai silencing us. All right? Which is the family of the word. But until then, and even when the word is gone, we still ain't going to be silenced. Okay? 
Because we know you're coming for us. We know you're going to, you know, round us up, arrest us, try to press charges on us, label us as terrorists. You're already trying to do that. Label us as domestic terrorists. And all we're doing is just reading from the Bible, man. This is all we doing, all right? That's all we doing. We ain't doing nothing. We're just reading the Bible. That's all I'm doing, man. Bible app, all right? So all we doing is reading the Bible. What harm are we doing? I'm not doing any harm. We ain't telling nobody to go out there and do harm to anyone. We don't do that. We don't push that over here. Not that the brothers of Great Millstone, brothers of, of GMS, starting with the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, the brothers on down, and of course the brothers like myself, they teach the likewise doctrine of Great Millstone. We don't encourage nobody to go out there and do anything wickedly. Do anything. Like it says, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. You're a carnal man, Esau, ain't him? You the carnal man. We're not. We're spiritual people. The Israelites, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the scattered Israelites that are scattered amongst the heathen and Gentile nation. We're spiritual people. You are the ones that are carnal. You're the carnal devils, man. Everything you do is carnal. And you devils are pissed off and mad because your kingdom is falling and your asses are being exposed day in and day out. And we're going to continue to expose your ass. We don't give a fuck about how many videos you take now. Yes, it pisses us off. Yeah, we get mad because, hey, we do, we work hard on that video. But, hey, the Lord ain't forgot our works, man. We still going to cut your ass out. You still going into slavery. You still going to be destroyed after your thousand years of captivity. Ain't shit going to change. So you can take down as many goddamn videos as you want, but it's not going to work. Prophecy is still happening, Jack, whether you like it or whether you don't. Hell, my goodness gracious, man. Slop you. <laughs> Got heated there for a moment. That's the spirit, all right? <laughs> Isaiah 62 and verse 6. I have said, Watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that made mention of the Lord Yahweh Shiyasha, keep not silence. And we're not going to stay silent because you want us to. All right? You trying to make us say that, hey, we're, that we ain't the Israelites. Pretty soon, you might going to try to take down videos and keep us from saying the name of the Lord. Hey, you never know. Hey, it can it can happen. Don't don't they don't put look man. You can't put anything past these devils, man. You can't put anything against past these Idumians. Alright? <laughs> hey, don't be surprised and shocked when they start taking down lessons if you put in the name of your how about some y'all shot in, in your title. Don't don't be surprised. Don't be surprised. Cause it can happen. Don't be surprised. Because, hey, look, that's how much these devils are hurt. That's how much hurt they are. That's how pissed they are. <laughs> you can't even put prayer in, uh, you can't even, you know, put prayer in your videos no more. <laughs> Boy, hey, but you know what? It's all good, man. It's not going to work, man. <laughs> it ain't working. You're still being exposed. You're still the Edomites. You're still going into captivity alone with the heathen and Gentile nations. And after your thousand years of hardcore bondage, Esau, you will be burned off the face of the earth, never to be seen or heard from again. And this ain't hate speech. It's everything that says right here in the Bible. It ain't hate speech. Okay? So, <laughs> you want to try to label it hate speech and this and that? You, you, look, you people full of shit, man. Okay? Let's read verse 7. I know I ramble on a lot. All right. And give him no rest till he establish and till he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. We're about to be a praise in the earth, man. The hundreds, starting with Yahweh Shai, King David, the 12 apostles, and the 144,000 ruling kings that's going to rule. We're about to be a praise in the earth. Okay. We're not a praise in the earth yet, but we're about to be. And no matter what you devils do, no matter what you try to come with, because like it says, you're going to come in like a flood. You're going to try to come out of the middle of the Lord. You're going to try to come out of the elect. 
it's not going to work. And let's get that. Let's go to 2nd Ezra's. All right. 2nd Ezra's chapter 16, and I'm going to start at verse... Mm, I'm going to start... Let me scratch the point. Verse 70. 2nd Ezra's chapter 16 and verse 70. For there shall be in every place... And the next cities, a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Yeah, how about y'all shy? Yeah. That insurrection is coming, man. These devils going to come in like a flood. Let's, let's read on. Verse 71. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none. These devils are not going to spare. They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Yeah, how about y'all shy? Some of the men of the Lord are going to be martyrs. Okay, we're gonna have to die. Some of the men of the Lord are gonna have to die for the testimony of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. It says it in uh, Revelation 20 and 4. Some of us men will be beheaded. Some of us women will be killed, tortured, put in FEMA camps. Some of the men of the Lord are just gonna escape. Some of the men of the Lord are gonna escape. Some of the men are gonna be endowed with spiritual powers. To overcome this devil, like it says in Isaiah 59, verse 19. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh Shai, is going to lift up a standard. All right? And that standard will be lifted up. You devils may get some, but you ain't going to get all of us, man. You're not going to destroy the Lord's elect. He's not going to allow you to kill off the elect. And that's what you really want. You really want to kill off the elect. If you can get the elect... To take the juice and get chipped, you be good. Your new world order will stand, but it's not going to stand, man. Okay? It's not going to stand and it's not going to go through. So no matter what you do, no matter what you do, we're still going to continue to dispose you, tell the truth, prophesy, and hang. We're still chanting this place down. America is going down as we speak. You know this place is going down when you got China and what I heard from Elder Malcolm, Germany is doing the same thing. You know this place is finished. You know Babylon the Great America is through when you got other nations. Now normally, back in the day, when I was young, when I was little, you see America doing commercials or talking about feeding uh, uh you know the undeveloped nations and you know other heathen nations. Now you got heated nations doing, doing commercials talking about feeding American children? You know this place is through when it come on man. <laughs> oh man. You know this place is through. You know this place is through when that the other side is doing the things that America does. Come on, man. This place is through. It's it's falling. Right before your eyes. We ain't got to do shit. <laughs> it's amazing what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is doing to this place, man. Glory Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has destroyed this place. Man, he's obliterating this bitch. All right? The real obliteration is going to come when the ICBM nuclear missiles hit this place. 200 million. But look at the infrastructure. Look at what Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is doing. We ain't got to do nothing. All we doing is prophesying, man. And look at the things we're doing. Calling on the name of Yahweh Shin Yahshai. Look at what's happening right before your eyes. We ain't got to go out there and protest. You know, burn down buildings. You know, you got... And also, you got Black Lives Matter. You got Black Lives BLM. Excuse me for saying it. You got to be a little threatening violence. This place is, man, this place is on its way out, man. I look for probably between, I'll say about next year. It ain't probably going to happen, you know, next month. It could, I don't know. I'll say next year, going into 2022, yeah, city's going to be burning real soon, man. It's coming. The seditions are coming. Because, hey, look what's going on. Too much information is coming out about you devils, man. And the world is waking up. Even your own people are coming up against you. Edomites fighting against Edomites. That, that Egyptian versus the Egyptians is coming, man. All right? That Egyptian against the Egyptians, that's coming. 
man, we ain't got to do nothing. And we ain't going to do nothing. That's why it says wait on the Lord, man. Like one body of your, one body of Satan, they call it one body under your house shot. Ain't one body under your house shot, man. They a joke. Telling you that waiting on the Lord is a waste of time. Bullshit, man. Look at what's going on, man. This place is falling. So telling me to wait on the Lord is a waste of time. You full of shit and you get your ass out of here, man, with that BS. All right? Look at what happens when we waiting on the Lord, man. We waiting patiently. And look at the things that's going on, man. It's beautiful. So don't tell me that waiting on the Lord is a waste of time. You can get your ass off my channel, man. If you come on my comment board telling me some shit like that, you can kick rocks. Because I'm going to kick your ass off my channel. Point blank, period. I'm not going to go back and forth with your ass. All right? <laughs> Let's read this, man. I know I'm rambling on a lot. But that's the spirit, though. All right? When the spirit takes over, the spirit takes over, man. Hey, you can't do nothing about it. But just go along with it, man. <laughs> Let's read this. This is 2nd Ezra chapter 16. And I'm going to start. I'm going to start back at, at the top again, man. 2nd Ezra chapter 16 and verse 7. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, and Yahweh. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, Shah. For they shall waste and take away their 